Now we will see how we can get list items using REST API in SharePoint Online. And most importantly, we will see how we can use a HTML table to display the data. Maybe in a table format or we will use a div to display the data. Most importantly, we have not gone through uh, two tutorials that I have uh, uploaded before. One is on how we can work with REST API and the other one is how we can get all list items and we can use the data tables jQuery plugin to display the data in, in, in tabular format. Now we will enhance this and uh, we will see uh, how we can use simple HTML table. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is BJ and uh, I'm a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. Now what exactly we are going to see over here? We are going to see over a screen like this. We will design a screen like this and this other, other screen also we will uh, we will design. Now in that basically there will be a button uh, and on click of that button it will actually uh, uh, pull the records from the SharePoint online list and we can see it in a tabular format and uh, you can enhance this you can add some css into that uh, that is up to uh, the requirement but i will show you how we can uh, basically create a tabular structure with the data that we will get from a sharepoint online list now without further delay what i'll do is i will show my sharepoint online list here so now if you look at this this is our sharepoint online list which is having a title column gender contact number department and the address we uh, i'm using the same uh, list that we are using on previous uh, examples as well now what I will do is I will uh, show the code here first of all and then uh, I will uh, we will go through the code we will uh, put that in a script editor web part so I'll be using a classic uh, uh, SharePoint site and uh, there we will add the web part page uh, and in that we will add our script editor web part now uh, so one of the things that basically we require to know here is a little bit of HTML, jQuery and uh, JavaScript and then the REST API. So uh, if you'll see here, this is simply a HTML code. So I have put a div and then there is an input button and uh, there is a div. So in this div, we are going to bind the result. That's the thing that we are going to do. This is only the div that we have taken, not table tier structure. Nothing you have taken yet now. Now on this, I have uh, added, this is a jQuery, we, so we added the jQuery reference and uh, uh, attached the button click function, you can see here, uh, if you are new to this uh, uh, jQuery and the button click, how we can attach, this is the syntax, so you have to provide the button ID dot on click function and then we are calling the get list data method here. Now this get list data method is our method which will actually pull the record from the SharePoint online list by using the rest endpoint. So if you will see here underscore page uh, uh, context info dot web absolute URL, this will give you uh, the SharePoint site URL. So in this case, it will give me the URL till uh, till this much TS info classic. You can see here sites slash TS info classic. Now then underscore API web list get by title is the method and we will need to pass the uh, title of the SharePoint list. You can see here, this is the title of the SharePoint list slash items, which will actually give you all the items from the list. And then next, uh, we are doing the Ajax call uh, for this uh, REST API. And you can see here, we are providing the URL and the type. So the type, type will be get and uh, because we are trying to retrieve the item from the SharePoint list. And if you do not provide it, then it will also take a uh, uh, out of box as or the default as get and then we are uh, pa passing the header and this success and uh, failure so we are calling these two uh, methods here and what we are doing on the success method we are trying to build a string dynamically for example in this case if you'll see here so for each we are uh, this is uh, uh, for each loop and uh, data dot d dot results will contain every item from that SharePoint list so whatever the uh, uh, whatever your URL you have provided the endpoint so whatever the results will come that will be there in the data dot d dot results and then what we are doing here is uh, i have taken a wire so you can see here list info this is just a we are trying to create a string dynamically so for example in this case uh, till the number of items are there so it will uh, in the loop so it will create a first it will add a name and then value 
uh, uh, and then if you'll see here contact number and then this will be going to be our contact number so what it will do is so first time it will come here name and then uh, the title so value dot title means the column name and we are taking the column name or the employee name so but this is the default title name title column and then contact number so value dot contact number and uh, this is actually the column name contact number and then finally we are uh, uh, through jquery uh, we are trying to uh, add the dot html and we are passing the variable so whatever the dynamical string it has been created it will be you can see here the html dot html will be like this now what i'll do is i will uh, simply uh, copy all these things you can see here and we will put in a script editor web part so this is a web part page so you can create a web part page if you don't have and then you can click on edit the page and then add a web part and then i will select uh, here media content and then script editor web part click on add so once you click on add then you can see here edit snippet so i'll paste this code so if you we'll paste this code you can see here we have just created a button on this so i'll click on insert and then stop editing and uh, then i will click on get sharepoint list data using rest api so this button once you click on the button you can see here so name and then uh, your name and then contact number and this is the number so this is how actually you can display the items and this is just a string that we have created the other example that we took is is uh, in this case it will come in a tabular format so the code will be same so if you'll see here the other code is same uh, this uh, calling and then the get method the things that we are passing and then here so we are coming back to here now before going to this success method we are binding the data what i'm doing is i will show you the uh, html so in this case if you'll see here the html we have the same button uh, this is one button get employee records and you can see here uh, there is a div and within that div i have a table uh, with uh, just a table id is there and uh, it has a style attribute uh, 100% so the width is 100% and then within uh, that td in one td i have a div so what we are doing here is into that uh, div we are going to append the table content so uh, ultimately if you'll see here we have created a uh, html uh, table and in one td we are trying to put everything over there but we can uh, you know you, you can also change a little bit on this code as well now coming back to the success method so in the success method data dot d dot results will give you the results from the query or the rest api and we have now object items is what it contains and then what we are doing is you can see here there is a table i have appended here table id and you can see here this is the id and then style and then we are adding one table header so t head you can see here there is name gender contact number department so these four columns that value that we are trying to get and then we have the for loop so in this for loop uh, till the items are there so you can see here objects dot length so it will actually the loop will run let's say there is there are 10 items so the loop will run for 10 times starting from zero so then uh, we are adding a tr tag so first time it will come so it will create a row and then we are adding the columns you can see here the first column is the name so which is the title column the second one is the gender gender column and the third one is the contact number so the contact number column and then the department column so make sure you need to provide the internal name for these things and you can see here we have the n tag for the tr so uh, and then uh, so this for loop will create a uh, let's say there are 10 um, items are there so it will create actually 10 tr over there so you can see here there is tr and uh, once it created the tr everything is created then you can see here we are binding this dot append and then the table content so table content is nothing but the variable so it's a string basically that we are creating so you can see here so now what we will do is once this is done so it will actually bind it over here so let's uh, just copy this code so i'll just copy the code other things are same you can see here we have the jquery file added here and then uh, the button click is there so there's nothing new on that so i will just uh, edit the page uh, and uh, then i will put it here in this and then you can see here we have this thing so i'll just stop editing the page and you can see now here this is employee day record and this 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 is the table actually that we have created in the html which is having one uh, 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 tr and then 
and Didi also on that. And we gave the with touch 100% that's the regenerator is coming fully in the page. Now I'll click on this. Once I click on this, you can see here the data is populating on table format. You can see here the name, gender, contact number, and the department column, and it has all this data here. So make sure to use the internal column on this on this as well. So I'll put uh, uh, the link of the article so which I wrote, and it has it, that article contains the code for uh, this all this rest api code is there in that article so you can have a go through on that and if you like uh, the videos then uh, subscribe to our youtube channel you will actually get a lot of uh, free videos on that you will get uh, uh, you know i mostly i will i try to uh, publish two three articles a week uh, or two three uh, videos a week so you'll get notification to that you'll get on office 365 sharepoint azure your power apps flow uh, power bi or in spfx so you'll get all these things and this is our twitter handles and if you uh, want to go for serpent training then i have a serpent training course you can which you can get it from spguides.com so this is serpent development training course you can you can go through the uh, training you can get the details here in in this serpent development training you can see here from this menu and it is it is a 50 hours course which you can go through and you can learn serpent development on this on serpent online I'll put this link uh, on the video description as well. So thank you and have a nice day.